We've all been touched by breast cancer in one way or shape or form. A misdiagnosis is very damaging to women. The Breast Screen Reader Assessment Strategy, or BREAST for short, is a collaboration between the University of Sydney and Cancer Institute New South Wales. The two organisations recognise the need for a tool that gives radiologists immediate feedback on their performance when they're looking at mammograms and trying to detect cancers and trying to correctly identify normal cases. The participation rate in breast screen is up to around 54% of the population. So it's, we're reaching basically just a little bit over half. So that's already an issue. Added to that is the worry that you know, there's going to be a, an incorrect diagnosis, missed cancers or false positives. We find in Australia that the radiologists are really, really good, among the highest performers that we've seen through our research. The issue though is that the prevalence of breast cancer in breast screening is quite low. Evidence suggests that about 30% of cancers are being missed even with the most experienced radiologists. So the tool that was needed was something that could immediately alert the radiologist when they've identified a cancer incorrectly. And then they can go back and then view those cases um, and, and sort of have a, a learning experience uh, and, and be able to recognize what their errors are and how to avoid them in a clinical setting. For me, it's a very important topic. My father died from leukemia and uh, I hope that uh, my efforts will help radiologists uh, to be as precise as possible. In breast, uh, guys already have uh, their own uh, software. Uh, they wanted to add more features to expand this application and uh, the current architecture of the software was not allowing them to do that. They didn't have a proper structured database which uh, were causing problems with reporting and uh, uh, data consistency. So the, the main idea was just to rewrite the whole application from the beginning. We needed a new version of the app that could provide three things. It could manage the process from uh, registration all the way to reporting. We needed an offline version and the ability to display 3D images. At SSW we use uh, .NET Core for backend and uh, for frontend I use Angular and the whole application is hosted in Azure. We wanted a solution that could make all of the test sets that a radiologist has ever done, whether it was at a workshop, offline or online at their clinic, to be available to them at any time. As soon as we get back to a place where we can plug into the internet, we then push a sync button which integrates all of that information that we collected from the offline software back up to the cloud and um, make it available then to, to people online. So our Breast app works alongside the PAC system, which is the usual clinical grade reporting system. It displays the high resolution images of the mammograms. So we wanted the new Breast app to simulate clinical reading as much as possible. So the new function that we've been able to put in with SSW is the digital breast tomosynthesis aspect, which is 3D mammograms, and they can actually go through all of the slices of the breast in four views. In many cases, the lesions can be uh, inside of the breast in some particular slices, some particular images. So if you're just looking in the top slice, you may not even see it. A new software has the uh, ability to adjust brightness, contrast, to invert the colors, uh, to zoom in and zoom out. It's almost like a game, um, in a sense, and it's a really safe place for them to make these errors and learn about these errors. So we had an idea of how we wanted the software to work, but we also had really, really tight deadlines and budget constraints. We use Scrum methodology and the whole point that you break the whole application 
into large backlog and then you just pick fixed amount of task and you put it into a sprint. So the agile development approach was really useful for us, particularly because we wanted to include a new function and it was the, the 3D images. So this was completely new. We hadn't done this before and we were also learning on the go. So we were finding out things as we went and they were able to implement those. I found Costa to be very intuitive. He really understood what we wanted to achieve. It's uh, very important not just to do what your client asks you, but also to predict all kind of additional features and adjustments that your client will want as soon as possible. So once when you build the skeletons application, the data, the data schema, uh, you take all that in account. The radiologist reported that the software was very easy to use. We've recently gone live with the online system and we've got a stream of radiologists now interacting with the system. We're very, very grateful to all the radiologists who participated. I feel really proud as I was involved in this project. I think this will benefit all women that go through breast screening. And these are our mothers, our aunties, sisters, cousins, people we work with. It makes me feel like we're doing a really good thing that's needed in the community and that has positive impacts on people's lives.